How you guys doing? Um, so yeah, Coach Jer wanted me to come over here and just say a few words to you guys about adversity. And uh, just to give you a quick story of me, um, I mean, now I've been playing this game for about 13 years now. And everything was good, starting from, starting from Pee Wee League all the way up to Skyline, playing at the top of my game. Um, had the opportunity to go anywhere in the country and uh, ended up staying home at the top of my game at UW and um, kind of fell off track a little bit, um, got caught up in some off the field issues. Um, so that was, that was the first piece of adversity that I went through. Um, the first struggle, people started looking at me a little differently. And then the following year, um, I ended up having a season career or a season ending injury. And uh, that was just that was more adversity. And uh, it was something that I had, wasn't used to because I had never been hurt. Three sport athlete in high school, coming into college, played two sports for a year. Never had to deal with any injuries or any adversity. And then everything just started happening. And it was, it was almost like it was just one thing to the next, to the next, to the next. And every single time I realized that when that happens, there's something to be learned in those, in those times. When I was hurt, I, I could do nothing for three months. I was just sitting at home, just thinking of the future, thinking of um, what happens if I can't come back from this injury, you know? And it's just, you, you take the time to learn things in those situations. Guys, that, something's gonna happen to you. I'm not here to be like, watch out, everything's bad, life is, is terrible. But I'm saying, you're gonna get hit some bumps in the road. And when that happens, you can't be afraid of those bumps. You have to take them head on. You can't run away from it, you can't be scared of it. You just have to understand that that's just part of life things are gonna happen, your life isn't gonna be perfect. And when that does happen, if you take the time to learn through those situations, at the end, you're gonna become a stronger person. Ever since the end of my senior year, you know, I got new coaching staff, I was excited about it, I was happy, wasn't getting the love that I thought I deserved, they didn't think I was 100%, I thought I was. But what did that make me do is just take practice more seriously. And I got better through practice, even though it wasn't in front of 70,000 people, I was still taking advantage of those opportunities I got every single day, which is going out and practicing and perfecting my game and just going back to the fundamentals and the basics. And then the season ended, um, had a chance to go out to Cali and work out a little bit. And uh, I'm sitting at home watching the draft, first round, okay, nothing, second round, nothing, third round, fourth round, nothing. I'm thinking fifth, sixth, seventh round, I probably should get my name called, nothing. Staring at my phone, waiting for somebody to call me. Place that I was expected to be was a free agent guy. Got a chance at Cincy, so now I'm happy again. I go down to Cincinnati. I'm there for four hours. They told me that I had too many pins in my foot, told me to go home. So that's more adversity right there. And I just continue to stay strong, continue to have a positive mindset because that's what gets you through all these, all these situations, all the adversity. Ended up getting, getting a chance to try out in Seattle and I did my thing there. And it's because I kept my head right. you guys know that anytime something happens in your life that maybe you don't think goes your way maybe you're not getting enough playing time or maybe you think you're better than the guy in front of you control what you can control you get a chance to practice every day are you moping around that practice being mad because you're not getting any playing time or are you taking that time to actually get better are you getting extra reps after practice grabbing the quarterback and saying let's let's get some reps get the cones out get on the jug machine do something because if you're not happy with where you're at right now what are you gonna do to fix that? You can't mope, you just have to go harder. If it's not enough, keep going harder. So that's all I gotta say to y'all. Thanks for letting me talk.